In an effort to understand how roots influence the productivity of crops under stress, one metric we are interested in evaluating in our studies is the metabolic costs of roots. While roots provide benefit to the plant in terms of foraging for and acquiring soil resources needed for growth, unlike above ground biomass, roots are comprised of heterotrophic tissue that can consume over 50% of the daily carbon fixation. Now plants experiencing abiotic stresses like phosphorus deficiency may allocate even a greater portion of their net carbon assimilation to root growth. These costs to the root system consist of three main components. One, being the growth of new root tissue. Two, being ion uptake and assimilation. And three, the maintenance of existing root tissue. Now specifically, the maintenance components of these costs accounts for approximately 90% of total respiration of the root system. And it is these maintenance costs which we are attempting to account for in this protocol. Now several methods exist for measuring the respiration of root systems, but here we demonstrate just one option using the Lycor 6400. Also, please note that there are other ways to set up the 6400 for respiration measurements, and this is just one way that works for roots. Although the Lycor 6400 is mostly used for measurements of photosynthesis, as a gas analyzer, it is really capable of measuring CO2 fluxes in either direction. It can detect CO2 assimilation as in photosynthesis, or CO2 production as occurs during respiration. To set up the Lycor 6400 for measurements of root respiration, a few hardware modifications to the system will need to be made. First, we need to remove the leaf chamber that is used for photosynthesis measurements by unplugging the thermocouple assembly, unhooking the chamber exhaust tube, and unscrewing the lower part of the chamber. We then attach our custom respiration chamber in place of the lower part of the leaf chamber and apply adhesive tape over the three holes in the chamber manifold to seal them. Please know that the size of the chamber will affect the sensitivity of the measurement, where it may be difficult to detect respiration from a small amount of tissue in a very large chamber volume. Beyond the changes to the Lycor 6400 hardware, we also need to configure the software to measure respiration and account for the volume of our respiration chamber. For our measurements of root respiration, we have configured the software to make the Lycor 6400 act as a closed system gas analyzer, where CO2 will accumulate in the sample chamber over the course of the measurement. Ultimately, our calculation of root respiration will be determined by the rate of change of CO2 concentration in the closed sample chamber over time. To begin our measurement, it is imperative that we work with the freshest root samples possible. We first excavate the intact root system from pots by gently loosening the growth media and making a strong effort to minimize damage to the root system as we excavate. Here we gently shake and pull the roots from the media. Because root tissue will begin to desiccate following excavation, it is important that we work quickly to minimize this effect in our measurements. To remove additional media from the root system, we rinse the roots in water kept at ambient temperature. Be mindful that temperature will have a strong effect on the respiration rate, so it is important to try and ensure that roots are not washed in cold or hot water prior to the measurement. Similarly, the sample chamber should not be kept in an artificially hot or cold environment relative to the temperature of the intact root system in the pots. Next, we sample the root system with a sharp set of pruners and select a representative root for our measurement. The decision of where to sample in the root system will be dependent upon the aims of each study. For this work, we are interested in determining the respiration of axial roots only, so we are removing the lateral roots with pruners prior to our measurement. We next select a known length of axial root for the measurement. For determination of respiration rate per unit length of root, noting the length of each sample is essential. Before placing the sample in the respiration chamber, we gently dry any water from the root surface. Regarding the moisture of the tissue, although we don't want the root to desiccate during our measurement, a high humidity in the sample chamber can serve to absorb or release CO2 into the system, thereby confounding our measurements. In our measurement of respiration, we take a measurement of the CO2 level of the sample chamber every 5 seconds over a 3 minute duration. 
Ultimately, we will use the change in CO2 of the sample chamber over time in our calculation of respiration. Here you can see the CO2 concentration of the sample chamber increasing as our measurement progresses. After the completion of the measurement, we save the sample for determination of dry mass, which will be essential for calculating the respiration rate per gram of root. Here we see the raw output from our measurement, where the CO2 concentration on the y-axis is plotted against time on the x-axis. The slope of this relationship tells us the rate of change in the CO2 of the sample chamber over time and will be needed in our final calculations of root respiration.